The ladies of The View still aren't convinced that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's relationship will make it to the end zone. On Tuesday's episode of the daytime talk show, the co-hosts called out several red flags they spotted in Kelsey's recent Wall Street Journal magazine interview about dating the pop superstar. In the piece, Kelsey opened up about how he and the karma singer began dating with a little help from her family. Some of the things he said raised some red flags for me, Sonny Hostin explained. He said, the biggest thing to me, make sure I don't say anything that would push Taylor away. What is he hiding? Hostin said it's important to see, the good, the bad, and the ugly up front, in a relationship, adding, he's sending in his representative so he doesn't offend her in any way, that's not real life. People offend you sometimes. Joy Behar, who called Kelsey an idiot, last week over his old tweets, acknowledged that the NFL star deserves, a little bit of credit, when it comes to dating Swift, but she doesn't think the power couple will be together forever. The View, Sonny Hostin, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. ABC, Gotham, GC Images, she's a major star and he seems to not be intimidated by that, you know, she said. Like, I'm old enough to remember Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio were the couple, but even they did not last. These couples burn and then they go away. Alyssa Farah Griffin, meanwhile, appreciated that Kelsey took the initiative in courting Swift. He pursued her, and with millennials a lot of the men just do not go for the women. It's the casual dating, not really trying, she said. He wanted to meet her and went for her. I like that intentionality. Hostin, however, interjected to question why Kelsey pursued Swift so passionately since his ex-girlfriend was really hot, too. When Behar responded that Kelsey's ex wasn't as famous as Swift, Hostin pointed to her co-host and replied, Uh huh. Griffin went on to note that Kelsey and Swift's families have met, which she considered a sign of commitment and she made a point of how much of a different type of person Kelsey is compared to the guys Swift has previously dated. If it's even just a palate cleanser, she began, before being cut off by her co-hosts and laughter from the audience. In response, Sarah Haynes jokingly yelled, This isn't ginger with your sushi, Alyssa. This is a full-blown Kansas City Chiefs player. I'm saying, even if Travis is just a palate cleanser, my red flag is this, Griffin continued. My only concern is she got out of a seven-year relationship and really jumped into this. You tend to want to give some time to get over the previous relationship. I root for them. I want to see her happy. I think she's one of the most talented musicians of my lifetime by far. But it seems like a little bit of a rush. Haynes noted that her personal red flag in the article was how Kelsey has been considering retirement recently.